Hello, this is Gary Templeton. This lecture overviews the most popular database tools available, introduces the database concept, demonstrates some database skills using Microsoft Access, and briefly explains how to continue learning about databases beyond this class. I hope you enjoy the discussion. Several popular database tools are widely utilized in various industries, each offering distinct features and functionalities. First, MySQL stands out as an open source relational database management system renowned for its reliability and user-friendly interface. It has become a popular choice for applications ranging from small projects to large-scale enterprises. Second, Microsoft SQL Server is a robust relational database management system widely employed in enterprise environments. It is recognized for its seamless integration with other Microsoft technologies and extensive support for business applications. Third, PostgreSQL is an open source relational database system known for its advanced features and extensibility. Its support for complex queries, indexing, and the ability to handle large data sets make it a preferred choice for applications requiring scalability and flexibility. Fourth, Oracle Database stands as a comprehensive and powerful relational database management system developed by Oracle Corporation. Widely utilized in enterprise settings, it offers advanced features such as high availability, security, and extensive support for complex data structures. Fifth, Microsoft Access, included in the MS Office Suite, provides a user-friendly database solution commonly utilized by small businesses. Its ease of use and integration with other Microsoft Office applications make it a practical choice for managing smaller data sets and creating simple databases. These five database tools cater to a spectrum of needs from open source solutions known for flexibility to comprehensive systems designed for enterprise level requirements. The choice of a particular tool often depends on the specific demands of the project or organization. It is important to understand what databases are and their importance. A database is a structured collection of data that is organized and stored in a way that makes it easy to manage and retrieve information. Managing data becomes challenging without a database. For instance, imagine trying to organize millions of transaction records or billions of online comments without a tool for strategic organization. The fundamental components of a database are tables, records, and fields. Tables organize data into rows or records and columns or fields. In relational databases, data is organized into tables and relationships are established between these tables. Primary and foreign keys are mechanisms to establish relationships between tables. A database management system, or a DBMS, is a software application or a suite of programs that provides a systematic and organized approach to creating, managing, and manipulating databases. The primary purpose of a DBMS is to facilitate the efficient storage, retrieval, and manipulation of data, ensuring data integrity, security, and optimal performance. DBMS serves as an intermediary between users and the database, enabling users to interact with the data without directly dealing with the complexities of underlying data structures. Key functionalities of a DBMS include defining the database structure, managing data storage, enforcing data integrity through constraints and validations, supporting data manipulation operations such as querying, updating, and deleting, and providing tools for database administration and maintenance. Common types of DBMS include Relational Database Management Systems, RDBMS, Object-Oriented Database Management Systems, or OODBMS, and NoSQL databases, each tailored to specific data management requirements and models. When we use software, we need it to have data integrity Databases ensure accuracy, consistency, and reliability of data. 
There are several advantages of using a database over spreadsheets for managing and analyzing data, especially as the scale and complexity of the data increase. First is data integrity. Databases offer mechanisms for enforcing data integrity through constraints such as unique keys, foreign keys, and data validation rules. This helps maintain consistent and accurate data, reducing the risk of errors and inconsistencies compared to Excel, where data integrity relies heavily on manual efforts. Second is scalability. Databases are designed to handle large volumes of data efficiently. They can scale up to accommodate growing data needs without significant performance degradation, whereas Excel can become slow and cumbersome as the size of the data increases. Third is concurrency and collaboration. Databases support concurrent access by multiple users, allowing simultaneous read and write operations without data corruption. This enables collaborative work on the same data set, which is difficult to achieve with Excel files that are prone to locking issues and conflicts when accessed by multiple users simultaneously. Fourth is data security. Databases provide robust security features to control access to data at various levels, including user authentication, authorization, and encryption. Excel files, on the other hand, can be easily shared and modified, making it challenging to maintain data confidentiality and integrity. Fifth is data relationships. Databases allow you to define relationships between different data sets using foreign keys and establish complex data models. This enables sophisticated querying and analysis across multiple tables, which is not feasible or efficient in Excel without extensive manual effort. Sixth, data consistency and centralization. Databases promote data consistency by centralizing data storage and eliminating redundant copies. Changes made to data are reflected uniformly across the database, ensuring data consistency and reducing the risk of discrepancies that may arise from maintaining multiple copies of data in Excel files. Seventh, querying and reporting. Databases offer powerful querying capabilities through SQL, Structured Query Language, or other query languages, allowing users to retrieve and analyze data flexibly based on various criteria. Excel also supports querying, but it is limited compared to the capabilities offered by databases. Eighth, automation and integration. Databases can be integrated with other systems and applications through APIs, application programming interfaces, and connectors, enabling automation of data workflows and seamless data exchange between different systems. Excel lacks robust automation and integration capabilities, requiring manual effort for data import, export, and synchronization with other systems. Overall, while Excel is suitable for small-scale data analysis and can be extremely useful for decision support and charting, databases provide a more robust and scalable solution for managing and analyzing large volumes of data, especially in enterprise environments where data integrity, security, and collaboration are paramount. Building a database involves a range of skills. This video is an excellent overview of some basic skills important in building a database using Microsoft Access. Access is an easy to use tool popular among small businesses around the world. The video covers the following topics which I have defined more thoroughly here before you watch the video. In Access you would create a blank database to start with a clean slate and design a customized database structure tailored to your specific data management needs and requirements. In database nomenclature a table is a structured collection of data organized into rows and columns representing a specific entity or concept. A field refers to a single data element within a database table representing a specific attribute or characteristic of the entity being modeled. A field is usually represented in the form of a column. A record, also known as a row, is a complete set of related fields within a database table representing a single instance or entry of the entity being described. In Microsoft Access, a calculated field is a field within a table or query whose value is derived from an expression rather than being stored directly in the database. The Expression Builder is a tool provided by Access that assists users in creating complex expressions for calculated fields, queries, forms, reports, and other objects within the database. 
It offers a user-friendly interface for constructing expressions using functions, operators, field references, and constants to perform calculations or manipulate data. In databases, data entry is important to ensure the accuracy, completeness, and consistency of the information being input into the database for effective storage, retrieval, and analysis. In Access, opening and closing windows is important to manage the user interface effectively, allowing users to navigate between different forms, queries, reports, and other objects within the database, enhancing usability and organization. In databases, relationships define the associations between different sets of data stored in separate tables. These relationships establish connections between related data elements, enabling efficient data retrieval, data integrity enforcement, and complex querying across multiple tables. Common types of relationships include one-to-one, one-to-many, and many-to-many each indicating the cardinality and directionality of the association between the tables involved. Importing data sources in Access involves bringing external data from various file formats or databases into Access tables for storage and manipulation within the Access database environment. Importing data sources in Access is important to consolidate and centralize data from various external sources, facilitating efficient data management, analysis, and reporting within the database environment. Forms in a database are user interfaces that allow users to view, enter, and manipulate data in a structured format within the database application. Queries are database commands used to retrieve specific data from one or more tables based on predefined criteria or conditions. Reports in a database are formatted presentations of data that provide users with organized and summarized information for analysis, decision making, or presentation purposes. Saving the database is important for preserving the integrity and consistency of the data, ensuring that any changes or updates made to the database are persisted and not lost in case of system failures or unexpected interruptions. Saving also allows users to access the most up-to-date version of the database and prevents data loss or corruption. By using these skills, you can successfully design, create, and manage a relational database in Microsoft Access, ensuring data accuracy, integrity, and usability. Watch the video, How to Use Microsoft Access Beginner Tutorial by Kevin Stratvert, who is an ex-Microsoft product manager. The link to this video is in the lecture transcript provided in eCampus. The video is over 30 minutes long but does a good job of explaining all of the aforementioned database skills. The implementation of databases in the corporate realm plays a pivotal role in transforming business processes. Let's explore a real-world hypothetical scenario within XYZ Corporation, a global retail giant to illustrate the practical application of databases, particularly in the context of a customer relationship management system. In pursuit of enhancing customer relationships, streamlining sales operations, and elevating overall satisfaction, XYZ Corporation has strategically leveraged a relational database designed for CRM purposes. In the initial phase, entities crucial to the organization's operations were identified, these included customers, products, and sales representatives. Relationships between these entities were meticulously established, recognizing the one-to-many and many-to-many -many dynamics inherent in customer interactions and sales management. Tables were crafted to house pertinent data for each entity. The customers table featured fields such as customer ID, name, and contact information. Similarly, products and sales representatives had tables tailored to their unique attributes. Appropriate data types were assigned to each field, ensuring the integrity of the information stored. As the database took shape, data entry became a crucial aspect. Customer information, product details, and sales representative data were meticulously entered into their respective tables. The emphasis was on accuracy and consistency throughout this process. To extract valuable insights from the amassed data, queries were designed. These queries ranged from identifying top-selling products to pinpointing 
high value customers based on their purchase history. Criteria were applied to filter data and tailor results to specific business needs. User friendly forms were crafted to facilitate seamless data entry and retrieval. Sales representatives could now effortlessly input new customer information and engage with forms designed for efficient interaction. Controls and layouts were implemented to enhance the user experience. Reports became instrumental in analyzing sales performance and customer satisfaction. Through these reports, trends and patterns were identified, offering a comprehensive view of the company's standing. Customized layouts, enriched with visuals and summaries, provided actionable insights for strategic decision making. The establishment and management of relationships between tables ensured the coherence of the database. Primary keys, such as customer ID, served as unique identifiers, fostering relational integrity and consistency across the entire CRM system. Validation rules were implemented to uphold data accuracy. These rules encompassed diverse aspects, from enforcing email format standards to preventing duplicate entries. Input masks were applied to standardize data formats like phone number and zip codes. Benefits and outcomes. The implementation of the CRM database ushered in a new era for XYZ Corporation. There were three primary benefits. First, improved customer relationships. Sales representatives could now access a wealth of customer information, facilitating personalized interactions and fostering stronger relationships. Second, streamlined sales processes. The tracking of sales activities, order processing, and inventory management became more efficient, contributing to streamlined operations. Third, enhanced decision making. Comprehensive reports provided insights into customer behavior, product performance, and overall sales trends, empowering the organization to make informed and strategic decisions. In conclusion, the CRM database emerged as a cornerstone in XYZ Corporation's corporate strategy, exemplifying the indispensable role databases play in optimizing operations, fostering growth, and gaining a competitive edge in the dynamic corporate landscape. Like spreadsheets and any strategic organizational software tool, continuing to learn about databases is crucial for professionals in the ever-evolving field of MIS. As with spreadsheets, there are several strategies to stay updated and deepen your knowledge. Probably more important in the realm of databases is specialized certifications. Consider pursuing certifications from recognized organizations such as Microsoft, for example, Microsoft Certified Azure Database Administrator Associate, Oracle, for example, Oracle Database SQL Certified Associate, or MongoDB, for example, MongoDB Certified Developer. You can refer to the discussion in the spreadsheets presentation for good examples of how to learn more about database and other software tools. Database technologies are evolving fast and so are these knowledge sources. Professionals tailor their learning journeys based on specific interests, job requirements, and databases encountered in the professional environment. They regularly reassess their own skill and knowledge gaps and focus on learning about aspects that will contribute most to professional growth. This concludes our discussion of databases. I hope you found it useful.